Good morning, princess. Welcome, members of court. Got kind of a late start. It's after 10 this morning on day seven aboard the beautiful Norwegian Prima. Karaoke went longer than anticipated, but that's okay. Oh, and I did not, did not get my real nap yesterday. All right, no problem. The ship is in Bonaire, and that means everyone's ashore, which means good things for me. Speedway, that is my one goal for the day. I think it's quite achievable, so I'm not really worried. And as a bonus, if it's operational, the drop slide. The good news, it's been almost a week since I've had to deal with something back home. The bad news is that kind of uh, botched my morning. Lunchtime, where are we? Surfside Grill. Let's get something quick and get the day back on track. We have hummus, fatouche, baba ganoush, a, um, um, not a panini, a, real, what, is, oh, focaccia, there we go, and a shrimp, oh boy. This one is chicken in Dijon mustard. This one is asparagus fish fry and an eggplant lasagna, which was very difficult to scoop, I guess. Dessert will be carrot cake and vanilla ice cream. All right, uh, goodbye indulge. Up, well, back topside to check on the drop slide. Glad I had lunch in the buffet, but I would have rather come here. Food was great, but this is just a better experience. There is something new on the schedule that's open. I think it might be the drop slide. I can't imagine what else it would be. It's, um, oh, let me look. It's the rush. I was about to say the fall. I don't think that would be a really good name. We're on day six and the drop still not working. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, the uh, the prediction is always tomorrow. So we'll be back in two days to see if maybe it'll finally come true. In a shocking turn of events, I'm actually not late for trivia. And an even bigger non-shocker, it's food trivia. I lost food trivia by one. Yeah, <laughs> more, more crushing than you can imagine. Technically, today is a workout day. Therefore, the correct thing to do would be go to the gym get a workout in while everybody is presumably on shore, then take a nap in the thermal suite. But I don't feel motivated because I just ate and a little tired because of that. And I don't know, <laughs> oh, uh, what should I do? I will be dining at Le Bistro tonight. And I noticed this out front, yes, it is a fancy place. They have a dress code, but why does it only single out the men. I mean, women can wear overly provocative clothing too, right? Like that, uh, like that red cloak and white bonnet? That, that's supposed to be sexy, no? I was going to take a nap on my balcony, and then I noticed, not today, my balcony is facing west, which means the sun is beating down upon it relentlessly. So, I am headed to the observation lounge, and hopefully everyone's still ashore, and I can get a lounger. I have not taken a nap here, so, this, this actually works out, my, my new thing for the day. Or maybe not, it is super crowded in there. All right, I guess I can just go down to the thermal suite. Nap achieved. Now I, now I need coffee. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Except uh, when I went to pick up my card, when, which you have to do when leaving the uh, thermal suite. Uh, mm, she was wearing a mask. Ah, great, now I probably have plague. After a nap, yeah. This is a pumpkin cream cold brew, and it is surprisingly good. All aboard was a half an hour ago, and I have not heard an announcement. In fact, I don't recall an announcement in any port, so I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess the passengers aboard Prima are the much more responsible types as well. I'm going to go, I guess, drop you off, unfortunately, and uh, off to, well, not really plan B, but what's next in the plan, which is uh, the go-karts. But oh, there we go. Which, oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, and then after that will be dinner. Saying goodbye to Bonaire, we are very slowly <laughs> spinning away from the dock. Tomorrow, Aruba, and that doesn't mean much for me. <laughs> so, uh, another fun-filled day aboard the ship. Ay, yay, yay. I'm kind of liking this napping thing. And let me tell you, I feel, I don't feel bad about doing it on this trip because it's so long. I mean, usually when a, a cruise is like seven days or even shorter, I feel like, uh, ooh, run around, try to do everything. But, uh, I think 12 days is a, it's a nice, nice length for a cruise. I could, I could definitely deal with one of these every other month. And the best part, I can now sit on my balcony and enjoy my Starbucks. 
a phrase that I never thought I would say in the lifetime of two universes. Cruise day goals accomplished. When they're a, a nap and go-kart riding, it's pretty easy to do that. And I, while I wish I could uh, sit out here on my balcony and enjoy this uh, beautiful, beautiful sunset, sipping my Cosmo for my Oso oh Swanky plastic Norwegian cup, I have a reservation at Le Bistro in 15 minutes. So I will be, I will be like five minutes late. I think we'll be okay. Ah, what a wonderful, wonderful day. There is land over there. I'm gonna check where we are real quick. It could be, I don't know, it could be uh, uh, Curacao or it could be Venezuela, who knows. <sighs> well, yeah, oh, ding dang. I can't enjoy the sunset because I have a specialty dining reservation. Oh, my word, <laughs> am I thankful for my problems.